Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by AngPro Training from AngPro Technologies. Hello friends, so far we have learned the different types of data structures which are linear, right? So today we're going to start the non-linear data structure that is trace. So if you are new to this video, please go and watch our previous videos where we have already discussed the linked list stacks and queues which are linear data structures. So from this video, we're going to start the new type of data structure which is non-linear that is trace. So we'll start our class by understanding what is tree. A tree is a non-linear data structure. That means here the arrangement of elements are not in the sequence. They kept in non-linear manner. That means you can't assume the elements stored in the tree uh, in a straight line manner or in the single sequence. Right? So a tree is a hierarchical collection of nodes connected by edges. See, this figure represents the tree. So a tree is a hierarchical collection of nodes. So these are the nodes uh, which is representing the tree. So this is the hierarchical collection. That means uh, um, one thing having many things below it, right? And all these nodes are connected with each other by the edges, right? Uh, you can see the edge between A and B and the edge between A and C and the edge between C and F and B and E and B and D. So nodes here are connected uh, by the edges and that depends on the relationship between among the uh, nodes, right? So there is a relationship between A and B and A and C. And there is also a relationship between B and D and B and D, right? So there is no relationship between E and C. So that is why they are not connected directly, right? So this is the tree. It's a set of nodes connected by edges and uh, each node represents uh, the memory location, right? So where we can actually store the data. So here A is the data, B, C, D, E, F. You can assume them as data, right? So now let's understand the different terminology that are in the tree, in the context of tree. So Please watch our next video only after understanding the different terminology and the meaning of the terms that we normally use in the context of tree. Uh, root node. So in a tree, the topmost node is called as root node, which doesn't have any node above it. So here in this diagram, A is the root node. So the first node of the tree or the topmost, of, uh, topmost node of the tree, which doesn't have any parent to it parent nodes. Parent node means a node having at least one child. Here A has got two children B and C. So A is a parent node and B and C nodes have also got children. So B and C are the parents. B is the parent of D and E. C is the parent of F and A is the parent of B and C. Child node. Child node is a node which has a parent. Here, B and C are the children of A, D and D are the children of B, F is the children of C. That means a child node uh, has definitely got one parent. Siblings. Siblings are two or more nodes uh, which have the common parent, right? So this is the general term. So when we talk about family, all children uh, belonging to one parent are called as siblings, right? So here B and C are the siblings because they have the common parent D and D are also the siblings uh, because they have the common parent P. F, we can't say F as a sibling because it is a, a single node here. Leaf node, what is the leaf node? A uh, leaf node is the node uh, which present at bottom of the tree and it does not contain any child attached to it, right? Here the nodes D, E, F are present at the bottom of the tree and they don't have any children to them, right? So leaf nodes are normally present at the bottom and uh, they, you will not find any, you will not find any nodes after the leaf nodes, right? Internal nodes. 
so internal nodes are the nodes which have at least one child here a b c are the only internal nodes you can't say d e f are the internal nodes because they don't have any children right so a b c are the only internal nodes you can say any node having at least one child path path is the a set of nodes uh, or a list of nodes that make a sequence here a b d is one path a b d because this is making one sequence here so a sequence of nodes makes a path right and a b e is another path a c f is one more path subtree so subtree is the uh, tree inside another tree you can call a node as a subtree if it has at least one child to it here b is a subtree c is also a subtree right so subtree is a tree inside the tree so the root node is said to be at level 0 and the children of root node a are b and c they are said to be at the level 1 and all the leaves d e f are said to be at the level 2 so level means simply it is the steps in the tree right so b c are at the same level d e f are at the same level and a is at the first level that means the level 0 so there are three levels in this tree so height of a tree what is the height of a tree height of the tree is the longest length of any path in the tree uh, that spans from root node to any one of the leaf nodes right here a c f is said to be as the height of the tree because this is the longest root or you can call a b e as the height of the tree or a b d is also the height of this tree right so normally all the leaves are at the same level you can take any uh, path as the height of the tree if uh, say suppose there is one more child associated to f so this will be the longest root right so this is called as the height of the tree the height of the tree is 4 here right and uh, degree of a node so degree of a node means the total number of children that a particular node has say so suppose b uh, the degree of B is 2 because it has two children the degree of C is 1 because it has got just one child degree of A is 2 right so the degree of a node is this um, so the degree of a node is simply the total number of children for that node and what are the different types of tree so there is a binary tree which is one of the types of tree and binary search tree is there avl tree b tree and b plus trees so these are the most important and uh, most frequently used types of trees which we'll be covering in the later videos so in the next video we will be covering the different operations that we that can be applied on the binary tree and the examples algorithms programs everything is there well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on youtube like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.